Mr. Oberhuber, how would you explain to the citizens in the simplest of manners what is uh, GIZ? GIZ is uh, the development arm of uh, the German government. Um, we are a government-owned company which is uh, implementing change processes globally, um, which are in line with German foreign and development policy. So we are not the policy makers, we are the implementers and um, uh, we are getting a mandate from the German government to support in a certain direction. For example, looking at the Western Balkans, Germany is committed that the Western Balkan countries are becoming EU members. So it's our mandate to look into what the Western Balkans need to improve their legislative like regulative framework to um, adapt their economy to become more competitive so that uh, the countries are able to become members and, and uh, yeah, partners in the internal market. Um, specifically, more specifically on North Macedonia, uh, how much aid annually is involved and what are your fields or areas where you, where you work? We are here since 30 years, since independence of Macedonia. That is also, I think, a part of um, the logic of this political mandate that we are not coming just for one project and leaving again. We are here as steady partners, so to say, to really accompany the country. Um, about six to seven million uh, uh, euro. We had a turnover in the last uh, couple of years, every year. Um, this is not only uh, German government funds, there is also co-funding from other um, international finance institutions like the European Union, which is also the idea to align the, the interventions from the different countries. Most important is that um, there is first the political um, agreement between the German government and the government here in Macedonia to go into a certain direction. And then we are active in quite a couple of um, yeah, different areas, uh, yeah, connecting um, ecological balance, collecting um, societal um, uh, in involvement of the overall society and not only of small groups of the society and, and this is very important, also to have a competitive uh, economy in the long term. Uh, the area of good governance and democracy is one of the, is one of the greatest uh, public attentions here in the country. What are your activities in this field? Yeah, I think we have a quite broad variety of interventions here. On the one side, these more uh, traditional ones when you are thinking of government uh, governance which are on, on legal reforms, um, also legal reforms for a, for a functioning economy um, and for the integration of, um, yeah, of North Macedonia in the, in the European setting. There is for example one thing which we are quite proud of that we supported North Macedonia uh, in signing the um, Hague um, Convention for, um, for the acceptance of uh, commercial and, um, and uh, civil um, legal uh, judgments. And this judgment convention is, um, is very important for the international action and for the acceptance of these judgments cross-border in the international field, which is bringing North Macedonia uh, yeah, becoming more partner in an in a, in a international community. But um, also looking into other fields of, uh, for example, um, the beneficial um, ownership registry, which we uh, worked on with the central registry here in Macedonia. We are very proud to have that here um, because uh, Macedonia is the first country here in the region which really established this structure for uh, which is necessary to combat money laundering and illicit financial flows like terrorist finance, which is very important to have Macedonia as a responsible mem member of the business community here in, in, in the region. Um, other fields which is then less in this traditional governance field of legal reform and institutional reform is also to look into the yeah, social responsibility of 
the government and of the governmental policies. Um, we introduced a, a tool um, which um, is quite innovative here in the region, social mapping, looking into what are the real social issues on the ground, in a municipality, in a um, region, um, what are our, our issues we want to concentrate on as government, where we have to deal with if it comes to social, um, social issues, uh, social deficiencies. Uh, one tool which we introduced here was the, um, social mentoring, which is quite new here in the region, uh, social mentoring in supporting vulnerable groups in getting integrated in society, getting integrated in the labour market where people are really accompanied in um, yeah, becoming part, full part of the society. And here is a responsibility of the government and we had a quite good cooperation here with the, with the national institutions and local institutions to introduce uh, such instruments. What I would also like to mention here, one specific topic, um, if it comes to um, economic empowerment of women, um, we had a, a very positive result here in, in uh, the recent years in increasing the ownership of women um, for, of land and uh, territory, which is quite important to, um, to improve the, 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 the capacity of women to act independently as economic actors, taking a loan from the bank, if you do not have collateral, Taking you will not be uh, accepted. And we had, um, we were working with the notaries um, in promoting the registration of of, um, of women and co-registration of ownership of women. And we had a quite positive development here from uh, 2013 to 2019 where the in increase was coming from 16% ownership of women to 29% of ownership, which is quite a substantial uh, development here. You mentioned economy. Uh, it is well known fact that Germany is the biggest trade partner of North Macedonia. Uh, do you, your organization, help to further strengthen this kind of ties between the two countries? Um, we are not directly working on trade relations. That's the job of our colleagues in the German Chamber of Commerce. We have very good cooperation with them here in, in Skopje. Um, what is important for us and what is our in involvement here is to strengthen the competitiveness of um, and the functionality of the, of the um, Macedonian economy. And that is also having a certain interest from the German perspective. Uh, Germany has trade relations with a lot of countries and we, we, the, the, our trade relations are always stronger with countries which are themselves strong. And therefore um, it, it is not that we are coming as trade partners to Macedonia and uh, to, to, um, yeah, to use the weakness of the country. We want to have a competent partner in that and that is our field where we are uh, working on. Um, that we are working on framework conditions um, which is for example to look into innovative potential of the country to support that was one policy we were working on recently uh, on the smart specialization uh, strategy of the country so that the country is actually focusing on certain sectors which are relevant for the innovative potential for the country and at the same time bringing academia and companies together to um, develop this, um, this creative and innova innovative potential. But also getting much more concrete in, uh, for example, supporting startups and uh, business environment for innovative business practices looking also into the quality infrastructure instit institutions. This is usually difficult to understand, but we need to look into what products are actually made. Is the, how is the quality of these products? And the state has a certain responsibility to have a functioning surveillance of the market, that there are not uh, non-functional or even dangerous products coming on the market, and at the same time to ensure the international accreditation of the products so that then also the export of these products is, um, is becoming easier. That is the more 
um, framework condition side, but we are also looking in the more um, yeah, diversification of economy, for example, in, in regional areas where we are um, um, yeah, looking what potential is there not only to have agricultural um, work but also other forms of economic activity like rural tourism and, and, such, uh, and such topics. If I'm allowed uh, yeah. to give you some more sure, uh, sure. ideas, for, for us it is always important not to look just into, um, into one project supporting one region, but into with, with a more holistic approach how things are related to each other. Mm -hmm. And um, I find one example of different initiatives quite interesting where we supported rural diversification in the northwest of, of Macedonia when we set up the High Skados Trail in the border, mountainous border regions of Macedonia with uh, Kosovo and with Albania, um, um, which is now an international hiking trail of uh, three, mm, 300 kilometers length um, and uh, being attractive for adventure-oriented tourists and at the same time also nature-loving tourists, ecologically responsible tourists. Um, and this uh, is, a, is a new field and also a new niche for tourism in, in the region and for, for North Macedonia. Um, what we saw after Covid that uh, tourism is, is coming, back. coming back a little bit and um, what we see especially here with, with, uh, with this High Skados Trail um, that it was internationally recognized. We, we had a British uh, tourism award for it. It was also mentioned in, in National Geographic and also these um, service providers, hiking services providers, they r really get additional demand in the recent uh, months and years um, for, for working on that. At the same time, in the same region, we are not only working in this rural, probably a little bit uh, lagging back areas, um, working with startups and with uh, innovative product and business ideas with um, um, sort of acceleration programs which we are doing in Tetovo, in Ochrit and also in Resen with the idea not only to develop uh, simple jobs in lagging behind regions but at the same time promoting also the, the yeah, the outreach of businesses um, and, and uh, business actors um, in, in, in new areas um, of the economy. Indeed. And at the same time, on the national level, with the smart specialization strategy, we are bringing um, an umbrella on that, um, combining these different ideas, for example, by concentrating on tourism as one sector, on the other side, on IT, technologies as another sector which are relevant for the for the country and that's the main idea to bring these different perspectives together, together. and um, mm. having that for example and that is I think really important for North Macedonia also looking into environmental responsible business. This is the future of business even if also Germany has still problems to really follow into that direction but um, there is no way out for Macedonia to look into that direction. Um, you, you mentioned environment, is this uh, maybe the field that you would focus most in the future or what are your plans for the future? Because you mentioned a lot of uh, the, the, I think there are two main paths in the, in the, in the, in the near uh, future. Environment is for sure one. Uh, we had just um, recently on 7th of June a large conference in, in Tirana for the whole region uh, kicking off the regional climate partnership um, where um, th uh, this includes for example energy transition and looking into also climate adaptation. We know that also Macedonia is vulnerable to climate change and we have to see what Macedonia has to do um, uh, in that field. Um, what, we, what we see and what we expect in the future, um, we were working on the National Energy and Climate Plan to lay the ground for the energy transition, for example. And Macedonia is one of the frontrunners actually in the region. There is a 
decision for decarbonization. There is a decision for phasing out coal um, because Macedonia understood there is no alternative. At the same time, Macedonia needs the support in getting energy transition to renewables, in energy efficiency in the building sector, and there we expect quite a lot in the future to come. And mentioning the future, the mm -hmm. second topic, we are soon to start also a corpor a cooperation with the Secretariat for European Integration. We will support the, the government in the negotiation process um, to, to the accession um, uh, to the EU membership, um, where we will on the one side support the negotiators in cluster two and three, competitiveness and internal market. On the other side also the working groups in the ministry to prepare these framework conditions I was talking about. There is a lot to do for the country. They are not only the big political decisions um, North Macedonia has to take. There are also these very technical, sometimes a little bit boring, but very uh, legislative reforms, regulative reforms, which we will support in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.